So hi there. In this lesson, we are going to learn what is logarithm. Uh, then later, you'll be able to do some exercises and see whether you have understood. Welcome. To start our lesson, we start by looking at what do we call the logarithms or logarithm. Now, consider the powers of 2. We can write 2. 2 to power 0, we know it is equals to 1 from our previous lesson. 2 to power 1 is equals to 2. 2 squared is equals to uh, 4. We have 2 cubed is equals to 8. We have 2 to power 4 is equals to 16. 2 to power 5 is equals to 32 and we can continue on and on and on now we notice that here uh, we have what we run as uh, indices so 0 uh, 1 2 3 4 and 5 are the indices now from there we will be able to define what is logarithm therefore we say that logarithm indices 0, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5 are called logarithm of corresponding numbers to base 2. So this statement may not make a lot of sense for now if you have not dealt with logarithms uh, earlier. But uh, in a short while, after we do a few examples you will be able to understand what actually logarithms are but note that here we are talking of plural logarithms which we are referring to as index so for example 0 the index is a logarithm of 1 to base 2 so let us now look at how do we write the logarithm for example we take 2 squared is equals to 4 so we write the logarithm of 4 of 4 to base 2 is 2. I, another example, uh, we write, let's take uh, like uh, 2 to power 5 is equal to the, uh, 32. The log of 32 of 32 to base 2 is 5. So note the logarithm of uh, of uh, 4 to base 2 the logarithm of 4 is this one to base 2 is 2. So note that the logarithm of 32 to base 2 is 5. So when we write this in short form, this is how we write. The first one we say the log of 4 to base 2 is equals to 2, two. and the other one we say the log of the log of 32 to base 2 is equals to 5. So note, when we write numbers in this form, that is 2 to power 0, 2 to power 1, on and on, we refer to that form as index form. So that is index form. So this one. When we write in logarithms, uh, we say this is ro logarithmic.
logarithmic form. Now, if you look at this, we can be able to change from logarithmic form to index form. Note here that uh, uh, we can identify this because 2 to power 2 is equals to 4. Also, uh, 2 to power 5 is equals to 32. So we can convert from the logarithmic form to index form. And that is what we are going to do. So we are going to use the information on the table shown here to convert from index form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form to index form. For example, the first one, we are given in form of index form. That is 3 squared is equals to 9. The logarithmic form of this is not here 3 squared is equals to 9. So we can use that format. So here 3 cubed is equals to 27 can be written as the logarithm of log of 27 to base 3 is equals to 3. This one we are told in index form, 3 to power 4 is equals to 81. So we can write log of 81 to base 3 is equals to 4. So note here that the index is what we are calling the logarithm of the number. Here we have been given a logarithmic form and therefore we are supposed to write the index form. So note here that 2 to power 6 is equals to 64. So we write 2 to power 4 is equals to 64. This one you see the logarithm of 25 to base 5 is equals to 2. And finally, the logarithm of 36 to base 6 is 2. So we write logarithm of 36 to base 6 is equals to 2. So that is how we convert from index form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form to index form. So I hope you have followed how we have done that because we are going to do more on that. Copy. In general, we can say from what we have worked out the missing part of this table, then if we are given a to power m is equals to n, then we can write the logarithmic form of this is the logarithm of n to base a is equals to m. In this case, this is this is the index form index form and this is logarithmic form. So you can now be able to convert from one form to the other using the same logic that we have followed in this example. So having done that, I'm going to do for you two examples so that you can see how we can apply this uh, knowledge. Then after that, I'll give you an exercise which you can try out. So in our example one, write in logarithmic form, we have A. So these expressions are in index form and to write them in uh, logarithmic form, uh, this is how we write, start with A. So we say the log of 64 
to base 4 is equals to 3. So we write log logarithm of 64 to base 4 is equals to 3. Uh, then we go to part B. We are told that 27 to power a third is equals to 3. So we say the logarithm of 3 to base 27 is a third. So we write it like logarithm of 3 to base 27 is equals to a third. Finally, we have C where we are told x, y, x power y is equals to k. So the logarithm of k to base x is equals to y. So logarithm of k to base x is equals to y. So that is how we convert this uh, expression to logarithmic form. We go to example 2. So in example 2, we are given expressions in logarithmic form to write in index form. So I will start with A. Uh, we are given log of 100 to base 10 is equals to 2. Now in uh, Index form, you say 10 to power 2 is equals to 100. So this is equals to 10 to power 2 is equals to 100. So that is in index form. Part B, we are told uh, the log of 128 to base 2 is equals to 7. In this case, you say uh, 2 to power 7 is equals to 128. So 2 to power 7 is equals to 128. And finally, C. C we are given um, log of K to base z is equals to g. So in this case, you say uh, z to power g is equals to k. So z to power g is equals to k. So that is how you convert from index form to from logarithmic form to index form. So from there, we are going to do, I'm going to give you an exercise which you can try out and see whether you have understood or about logarithms. So in this exercise, you have, you have two questions. The first one, you will need to write uh, this expression in index form. Then we have number two. Question number two, you write the expressions in logarithmic form. That is, from index form to logarithmic form. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. But check, there are a lot of things that I'll be posting in my YouTube channel related to the same topic, that is revision question and other extra uh, information that I may come across. So get answers for the given exercise from Teacher Wamta YouTube channel. It is important you open a Gmail email account, like and subscribe Teacher Wamta channel so that you get all the lessons and revision questions that I have prepared. If you, are, you don't know how to open a Gmail account, you can get assistance from uh, Cyber. Or if you know how to browse the internet, you can just Google. Go to www.google.com. Then you find an option of opening an email account. If you don't want have one, you can use one. If you are a student, use your parents' account. 
you will be able to access these materials.